Dark matter, we can't see it or touch it, but we know it makes up 85% of all matter in the universe and is crucial to the process of galaxy formation. Incredibly, despite dark matter being invisible, astronomers have used the European Space Agency's Herschel Infrared Space Observatory to answer an intriguing question, how much dark matter is needed to build a galaxy? Dark matter is everywhere, even in our own Milky Way galaxy. Each galaxy is embedded in a giant cloud of dark matter. We know it is there because it has a gravity that affects the emotions of stars and gas in galaxies and bends light passing through galaxies from beyond. But there has to be just the right amount of dark matter to create a large galaxy rich in star formation, like the type we see in the very distant universe, whose light set out over 10 billion years ago. The dark matter controls how much gas the galaxy accumulates from into galactic space and other galaxies around it, and this gas is what fuels star formation and galaxy growth. If there isn't enough dark matter, the growing galaxy becomes stunted and peters out, and if there is too much, the cloud breaks up into lots of smaller galaxies. So what is the Goldilocks amount of dark matter that is just right to form galaxies like our own Milky Way? The answer, according to the Herschel observations, is 300 billion times the mass of our Sun. To really show how big this is, consider that our Sun's mass is 2 billion trillion trillion kilograms, that's 330,000 times the mass of the Earth, so 300 billion times the mass of the Sun is a great amount. How did it find this out? In the distant universe, when galaxies were young and forming stars, they were also very dusty, blocking normal light. Only infrared light can get through the dust, which is why we need Herschel. Also, dark matter is strung out in the universe in great clumps, linked up by filaments like a spider's web. As we have mentioned, dark matter has gravity that attracts normal matter, so all the gas and galaxies in the universe are attracted to this dark matter web. The more dark matter in a clump embedded in the web, the more galaxies leading what we call a galaxy cluster. This web glows in infrared light because of the dusty star-forming galaxies in it, this is called the cosmic infrared background, and amazingly, all the little dots in these infrared images of the infrared background are distant galaxies. Herschel's maps show that the degree of clustering is much stronger than expected, and because the amount of clustering depends on the amount of dark matter and its gravity, Herschel scientists were able to work out the amount of dark matter needed to form a single star-forming galaxy. Remember that the galaxies that we see in the distant universe are the precursors of large galaxies in the present day, such as NGC 2841, a spiral galaxy 46 million light years away in the constellation of Ursa Major, the Great Bear. It was recently photographed by the Hubble Space Telescope, showing dark dust lanes weaving through spiral arms of stars. So the next time you look up at the night sky at all of the stars of our galaxy, Remember that there is also that mysterious, invisible dark matter out there too, and our Milky Way wouldn't be here without it.